Hello happy people. Hope you're having a great day today. Today we're taking a look at another Margaret St. Clair short story. This one was published in 1960 in the Galaxy magazine. Um, it's called The Newsman and U.S.E. Newsman, uh, not N-E-V-O-U-S, which is how I thought it might be. A there, was a, there was a short story in this collection earlier uh, called Horror House, where horror was spelled with E-R and house was spelled how, H-O-W-C-E. Um, and that was intentional uh, mis misspelling of the phrase. And then that short story was a horror short story um, that dealt with uh, a person who was trying to sell uh, horror houses. And I thought that this person was also going to be a similar sort of thing. This was going to be a newsman who's, who's he, he, this person is a person of business. He arrives at her point of view character's place and is starting to sell things and talking about the benefit of his product and how good it is. This, and and he, he has a news installation, uh, and, but but instead it's, it's something else. It's more of a scientific term. Now this is set far enough in the future that there is time travel, uh, and um, it's it's fairly commonplace. Uh, and then we also have uh, some installations and some ways of producing uh, objects and that sort of thing that are happening. So what's winding up happening um, is is that our main point of view character doesn't like news. Uh, installations or, or products that much, uh, but a newsman has come and is trying to sell them on this stuff. So he tells about a uh, an experience he had with news far back in the past in, in ancient Babylon uh, at Ur. And he's going to go over all of these different things that happened with Ur and the bricks that were built and the, and the various things that were used, all with these science fiction-y type things from the future, uh, going back and past and setting up all these deals with these locals. And then we're going to find out what happens. Uh, and that then is the key sort of element of this fantasy, of this uh, science fiction short, rather short story. Uh, the, the Newsman from 1960's Galaxy. This is the first short story I've read from Margaret Sinclair. It's set in 1960, this collection, uh, that we have been taking a deep dive into, which I will link to you in the comments below. Um, has started out with her career in 1945 uh, and it had a lot of short stories in it per year because um, she was very prolific early on um, but then she makes the, the trans transition successfully from pulp era uh, writer of science fiction short and uh, fantasy short stories uh, to more of a, a novel a style of writing and selling stuff and a lot of writers during that were started out in the pulp era didn't make that transition um, successfully to, to, to other things. Many of them just left uh, of the field. Some, some would write comics, some would write scripts for TV shows, and some would just make, write novels instead of short stories. Uh, and Margaret St. Clair's, and so uh, her, her, her number of short stories that she publishes uh, per year in this book, um, it's been a few years uh, since, since the last year, <laughs> short story uh, that, we, that, that, I, that I did. Um, but this is our first short story that I've read from 1960. This book so far has been all science fiction except for two uh, horror short stories. But, as you can see, I'm almost done with this book. In fact, there's an old-fashioned bird Christmas, which is really long and I'm not sure I'm going to get to it. Uh, and then there's a shorter story called Rhymeck Draw Me, and it's published in 1981. And that's it. So we're almost done with this collection um, that I've been doing. Uh, that I set aside a Thursday uh, to do a re review of for y'all. Uh, so we're almost done with this book. And that's awesome. Um, I started doing a deep dive into Margaret St. Clair because she is listed on the appendix and by Gary Gygax. And, um, and it's my goal uh, to read uh, some stuff by every person who's mentioned in Gary, Gy in Gary Gygax's appendix M. So what is the appendix M by Gary Gygax? Great question. So basically what winds up happening is, is that Gary Gygax is hugely influential um, in modern uh, fantasy uh, from comics to video games to role-playing games to board games to movies, uh, to, to books, from all, all sorts of different media. Uh, the, mo the modern fantasy media owes a lot to Gary Gygax because he's one of the co-founders of Dungeons & Dragons. And so he, uh, in his first uh, edition of Dungeons & Dragons, I'm sorry, rather, Advanced Dungeons & Dragons, rather, he publishes a rule book for the people that are running the game called Dungeon Master. It's called the Dungeon Master's Guide. In that edition, he has where he got all of his influences for, for the game, and also places to go for inspirational reading in the nth appendix of that collection. So that's what we're taking a look at the that 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 appendix and taking a deep dive into it. And that's where I came across the, the name Margaret St. Clair. Now she's heavily heavily published. Uh, she has she has a, a career that has gone for decades and decades. And now we're almost done. 
uh, with Margaret St. Clair. Um, and this is, I was hoping to get more of a fantasy collection, but it's been science fiction and I've been fine with it. Uh, the same thing happened with Lee Brackett, who I also came across uh, from the Appendix N, uh, and I want to do a deep dive into her. I picked up one of her best of collections, it was all science fiction too. Uh, so it happens. <laughs> uh, that, that's how things go. Uh, and, but anyway, I'll go ahead and leave you to it. Have you read this short story? If so, what did you think of it? Did you agree or disagree with my thoughts and takes on it in any way, shape, or form? I'm giving it a 7 out of 10. It's fine. Short's like 8 minutes long. It took me like 15 minutes for me to knock it out last night, so it's pretty fast. Um, so I'm giving it a 7 out of 10. But if you, if you want to talk about spoilers or if you want to give me a better or, or if you want to tell me your own review out of 10, I would be happy to talk with you further about it in the comments below. If you like this video, why not hit that subscribe button because we get a lot more of these to follow. And then finally, I want to thank you so much for taking some time out of your day and investing it and watching my video. We all have so many things that are happening in our lives and we're pulled in so many different directions. So the fact that you spent this time with me is incredibly humbling and I appreciate it. Thanks again and have an amazing day.